Hello everyone, welcome back. We are still continuing through this Let's Play and I just fell off. Oh my. Hello everyone, I am your magical wizard and last time we were um, playing some Batman stuff and I finally figured out how to start the game again and I'm still, okay, maybe I haven't figured it out. Do I, B? B? Why? B? Why? Start? Nope. How? Wait. Okay. B? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, last time we beat Clayface and Mr. Freeze? Clayface and Mr. Freeze, right? And now we're on Two-Face Chase. Story mode, let's go! I had a couple stories I wanted to talk about today. One of them uh, <laughs> takes me back to when I was in, I think, preschool? I want to say preschool. So... I, I have a vague memory of this one teacher and he used to he used to dress with a like a salmon shirt and blue pants always. Well one day he showed up in brown pants and a white shirt and I didn't recognize him and I ran up to my grandma and I was screaming, Graham, Graham, that's that's not the teacher. He's that ain't the teacher. Take me home, he's trying to kidnap me. I, I don't know why. Or how I had those stupid thoughts, boy. Thinking back, I'm as, as now going to be a dad. I'm just thinking like, oh my god, my kid's going to have those moments of not recognizing someone just because they're wearing a different colored shirt. That or I was just stupid. I I haven't decided yet. I might have just been stupid. So exactly what am I supposed to be doing here? I I'm actually kind of confused. Wait, press B to... Like this? And then we're dragging it back? I, yeah, all right, there we go. Tug this thing back. Got it. There's the Riddler van. Go, police chopper, go! Get out of here! Go, Mr. Mr. Dankins. All right, now what? Oh, we're supposed to go that way. God, those things are just chugging. However, driving this Batmobile is actually interesting. What? Now, now what? Am I just gonna... What's happening? Splitting off. Okay, so am I supposed to go find them? All right, let's... Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
whatever character I'm not playing just doesn't do anything. They just stand there like, herpa da derpa, let me not do nothing. I could totally do something, but I ain't gonna do nothing. Alright. Wait, wait, do we go down here? Okay. Come over here. Destroy some stuff. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there a way to stop? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a boost button. Oh. So, since there's a boost button, let's go this way. Anyways, yeah, so I was thinking, my kid is going to be so messed up. I'm thinking about all the stuff I used to do and just like, please, please don't let my kid do half that crap to me. Because <laughs> I'm thinking back like, I was a jerk. Not just a jerk, I was just a turd as a kid. <laughs> Can I please get this? There we go. Okay. Oh, no. Let's go, buddy. Boost away. So, I was thinking back uh, as well when I was like, even 10, I'm just thinking like, God, I was such a little lying turd. And I know why, and I'm not going to call out the reason why. It, it, it's my fault, but it's not my fault. It, it's a long story. Anyways... No, like, I'm just thinking back, like, please don't let me be half as stupid as my parents. I, I just want to raise my kid right. I want to make sure my kid's happy and not a piece of crap. As I was saying, sorry, uh, I had to go help some people. Anyways, um, what was I saying? What was I doing? I, I know what I'm doing here. Uh, it doesn't matter. New story. So, <laughs> as I was... Oh, yeah, now I remember somewhat. As I was saying, like... When I was a kid, I was such a turd. Like, for an example, um, when I was in school, there was this one... I want to say it was a girl, but I can't remember if it was. Either way, they were um, they were talking one day, and I was just getting annoyed with them. So I started throwing paper balls at them for no reason. Mind you, I was also already bullied in school, so I thought it was a normal thing to do. And I got sent to the, I got sent to the principal's office for being a bully that day. And I remember, and I was like, they do it to me all the time. And they're like, do they? And I was like, yes. And so they brought him in. They're like, I've never done nothing to Michael. He's a bully. He bullies me every day. And I'm like, I have only ever thrown paper balls at you one time. Are you kidding me? And they took their side of the story. And one day, oh, God, it was, oh, I can't even articulate what's happening in my brain right now. I'm getting, like, so many flashbacks. Anyway... This is interesting. I just got... Come here. We're getting you out of here. Done with this. Um, no. So, one of the days, uh, I was getting picked on by three people, and that same person was there picking on me. And they just... The, I can't remember if it was the principal or a teacher. Either way, they came around... Someone came around the corner, and they started crying. It was like, he's picking on me. And I'm standing there with a broken, not even a broken nose. I think my nose was just bleeding either way. And I just go, are you serious? And they looked at them, looked at me and go, Michael, you need to go home. I was like, I, I didn't even do anything. And so later my, I switched schools. Um, I switched schools. And after switching schools, I was thinking like, okay, no more bullies. I won't have to deal with this. First day of school, I get um, I, I get made fun of, which is fine. Nothing I haven't dealt with before. But the part that got me, like actually got me, got me, was it was the same crowd of people that made fun of me for playing Pokemon, for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And it, it just continued for like... Oh, God, I, I don't even know how long. It, it was like an all-day event that day on my first day of class. And I found out later that they all played the same damn thing that I did. They were just not wanting to be the uncool kids at school. And I'm just thinking, like, wow, what the heck happened? Because when... 
now people all the time are like, hey, I, uh, I play, I play Pokemon, I play, I play, uh, video games, and I'm just thinking, like, why was I not cool? And then I realized, oh, it's because, um, I was a little psychopath. <laughs> because I, I went through some major traumatizing events, and it started pushing into school, and it, it's it's my fault as a kid. I should have spoken up about what was happening between my parents at home and with my uh, friend, well, friend groups, as I quote in the air, more or less the classmates, because a lot of that could have been avoided if I just came out to my grandma or my or like someone really close to me and just told them, hey, I'm being abused. I am not OK here. I need to I need to be somewhere safe. But as a kid, you don't know any better. And I was told my whole life, like, for a good 8, 8, 12, 13 years of it that that I wasn't wanted by a certain by my grandparents or anything. So it was just really frustrating and difficult as a kid growing up to be torn between how my parents acted and how I'm supposed to act and then not wanting to be there but being told I'm not welcomed anywhere else. So I was really happy when I turned 15 and my grandma actually came and took me. She, she didn't even give me a choice. She was just like, you're going to die. You're going to come and live with me. I was like, yes, I am saved. But I, I was worried about not being able to see my friends anymore or my one, my couple friends that I've made out, out where I was living. I had a few really close friends and they really looked out for me and they helped me get over some major issues back then. I still have major issues now. Don't get me wrong. I'm I, I'm a freaking lunatic. Like I am absolutely a freaking lunatic. Robin, seriously, are you are you are you really fumbling around with poison ivy's leaves? Come on, you're better than that. Anyways, we're gonna call this an episode. I will see you guys on the very next one. And I believe we're fighting someone else different, but our poison ivy, right? We'll pick this up on the poison ivy episode. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and goodbye.